step number one. Glue three to four pieces of foam together and then cut it to the size and shape of the hole given in the front of your plane. It may help to remove the paper in between the sheets of foam for a better bond. Step number two, find the center up and down and left and right and draw some crosshairs. Using a ruler to measure here will make it much more accurate. Drawing these lines will make it easier to center your motor on the motor mount. Now that we have the crosshair so we can easily center our motor on the motor mount and we can use a pen to make marks in the holes. Now that we have our holes marked out, we can grab some toothpicks. Make sure that the toothpicks you grab are fully round and aren't flat or in any way weakened. We want them as strong as possible. Now let's decide which way do you want your wires to face. I like them down. In this case, I'm going to put them down and to the left. Now that we have two toothpicks in and we've decided which way we want our wires to go, we can put in the other toothpicks. You see again here that I'm rolling the toothpicks in between my thumb and forefinger to make sure they're good and thick and strong and round. This one here looks like a winner. Now that we have all four toothpicks in and everything's lined up the way we like it, let's lift it up off the table so we can push them all the way through the foam, as centered as we can get them. Now we're going to take some rubber bands, four to be exact, and we're going to wrap them around the toothpicks to hold the motor to the motor mount. You can probably start to see where we're going from here. The toothpicks and the rubber bands are going to break before your motor breaks or your shaft gets bent. And that's what we're trying to prevent. We're trying to save our motor from getting damaged. Now I'm going to continue that process with the three remaining sides. You'll notice on the bottom here, I like to take the rubber band on my final wrap around and stretch it over the toothpick on the opposite side of the bottom of the motor mount so that you get more even pressure all the way around. Now that everything's banded down, I like to make a little notch through the motor mount for the wire to go into the fuselage. I'll hold the wires together with one hand where I want them to go and then make a mark with a pen in the other hand. Now I hold the wires out of the way with one hand while I continue making the lines down the sides of the phone with the other. Then we take our trusty Fiskars X-Acto knife and we cut out the notch. Now that we have the notch cut out, we can apply some glue. You may or may not want to apply glue here. Leaving a little slack in the wires to the motor is a good idea in case of a crash. Another idea here is to put a small U-bend in the wires and then glue it down. So it's glued in place, but it also has some slack if the motor needs to move one way or the other instead of it getting broken. Now let's check out our handiwork. And finally, I like to take some wire cutters and snip off the pointy ends of the toothpicks. So you're not always poking yourself when you're installing it, when you're grabbing the motor and all this. It is a little handier if you nip off just the tips front and back. It's also important to notice on this particular one, I did not add glue to where the rubber bands and toothpicks meet. Sometimes I do. On this particular motor mount and motor and prop combination is going to be a 10 by 3.8 prop with a two cell battery. So there's not going to be a whole lot of pull, but if you're in a three cell setup with a 6x4 prop, you might want to add some glue front and back to the motor mount where the motor mount and the toothpick and the rubber bands all come together. For more detailed information, please contact the flight attendant. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and land on that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.
I'm Will, and this is Flight Sticks. My Pay the Piper Cherokee 140 that you see me building in this video is now complete and ready to fly, and the made-to-flight video will be up soon right here on YouTube. 